please, please, please. Sit. That could be it. Please, please, please. Ah, yes. 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 It has finally arrived. I cannot believe it. The new BMS. Ah, nice. This is a very special BMS I've ordered months ago, months ago. And then it was lost on the way from China to Australia. And they refunded me so I could order again. And now it is finally here. Ah, this is on my website for months since I ordered the one because I wanted to test this one. This might be the BMS we are all waiting for. So cool. Okay, let me show you more. By the way, welcome back to the off-grid garage. And before we are going to connect this baby here to our battery to see it in action, we just want to have a quick look around. So it comes with a metal, it's a metal case. It's actually in a metal case, not plastic. It's a metal case. I like this very much. The um, workmanship quality is very, very good. We've got our balance lead connections down here, one wider connector and one smaller connector from B1 to B24. And we have two, yeah, we've got two temperature sensors here for over and under temperature disconnection protection. And then we have two communication ports here underneath the temperature sensors. On the left is the CAN bus and on the right is the GPS or RS485 connector. This will come in very handy when we connect the BMS to our Victron gear to read out state of charge and single cell voltages. Now we've got some holes in here as well. I think this is for an internal temperature sensor maybe or for a beeper or something. It also comes with a seven gauge wire, two of them for the B minus and P minus. So this is roughly a 10 square millimeter cable, two of them. Yeah, the only thing I don't like is that they have bare ends here on this BMS. Well, the QUCC BMS, for example, comes with ready crimped ring locks here on the BMS. Yeah, so this one will be a little bit more trickier to connect to our battery and load. Well, if you scan this barcode here, you will get to a website, which is mostly in Chinese, unfortunately. Um, it enables you to download the app for Android and iOS and also the manuals for it, which are completely in Chinese. So not usable for me. My Chinese is a bit rusty. Okay, let's quickly go over some of the specs here. So this BMS is the largest one they have in this series. It's a 200 amp continuous current BMS with a 2 amp active balancer included. So it does not do any passive balancing, any bleeding, any, any discharging of single cells. It is an active balancer included with 2 amps balancing current. It can only be used with lithium iron phosphate batteries from 15 to 24S. So this BMS is not suitable for 24 volt or even 12 volt systems, unfortunately. 2 amp active balancer, 0.3 milliohm internal resistance when turned on, 200 amp continuous, 350 amp maximum discharge current for a short moment. The overcharge protection can be set from 10 to 200 amps. Comes with RS485 and CAN, as we have seen here are the dimensions. And these are some more specs down here, which you all can adjust with the app. It has uh, three temperature sensors, one internal to external, short circuit protection, column counter, Bluetooth function for iOS and Android. And the link to the BMS and the specifications is as always down in the description under the video. Nice. It looks good! I like it!
Okay, let me quickly measure the balance leads here and then we connect the BMS. <laughs> I'm a bit excited tonight! Okay, folks, I think we are <laughs> good to go to connect it. It is always very exciting, I think, when we plug in the balance leads to a BMS and we don't know what will happen. I had a problem with balance lead number one here. You can see I have soldered it now onto the ring terminal here. I could not get any contact from the terminal here from the battery to the first balance lead here. And I think I pushed the cable too far in and it now squeezed the insulation instead of the cable. So always good to check your cabling for the balance leads here before you connect anything. So this is the first plug here. This is the wider one which goes into these contacts here from B1 to B14. And then the second smaller one has only three cables connected. You can see number 15 and number 16. And this is our B+. And B plus is connected with B16 in the same location. And this is what you can see here. This is our cell number 16. And we have uh, B16 and B plus connected to the same ring terminal. This is what the diagram says. So I've done it. I hope this is all correct. We will see now. I have also, I want to show you this one here. I have also just used some uh, crocodile clamps now to get our B minus here to the battery negative terminal, goes to the XT60 connector and up to the uh, most negative terminal here of our cell number one. We don't need the circuit breaker, we don't want to put any load on it. I have put some insulation tape so people don't comment anymore if this one gets too close to another terminal, as in the other test. This is all good, we just want to have a look at the BMS, at the app, see what the balance current is, how far we can configure it and everything else. I just don't hope this one will go in the same box as the DALI BMS. Well, no, actually, we will revisit the DALI BMS, people have Put some very good comments under my video. We will do some testing in a future video with the DALI BMS and see how it balances and how efficient it is. More about this here on the channel soon. Okay, let's connect it. Okay, this will be the first... Hey, 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 what are you filming? Hey, camera, come on. Yeah, that's better. All right. This goes in this way here. Let's connect it and hope for the best. It's good, no shorting. <laughs> it's always a plus. And we plug this one in as well. And it's good. Well, I don't know if it's good or not. There is one here, there's, there's one LED there, the red one, see? It's not illuminated at the moment, no. Not sure if this is the balance one or something, I don't know. Okay, negative is connected, everything is connected, everything should be good. Uh, it didn't beep, it didn't spark, it didn't smoke. Okay, I'll put you here on the stationary setup. I have already downloaded the app. Oh no, that's not the one, that's the Delhi. <laughs> that's the Delhi BMS. That's the one, I think. Yeah, that's the one. And it shows up here as Bluetooth, already enabled. Request device information failure. That's a good start, right? Holy crap. Okay, let's try this again. Scan. Maybe this isn't the one. I've got so many devices here connected to Bluetooth. Okay, if this doesn't work, well, this one shows up. <laughs> Guys, that's the shortest review of a BMS ever. Well, that's not good. Request device information failure. Ah, oh, really? Uh, now the whole app is frozen. Guys, what a good start. <laughs> if this BMS doesn't work, I'm just buying a battery on. Come on, connect. <laughs> No, it doesn't do it. Okay, let me do some research. I'll be back. <laughs> Guys, 
This is the shortest review of a BMS here in the history of YouTube. Video is over. I have no idea. It doesn't connect. I've tried several times, reinstalled the app, tried another, another mobile phone with the app. Same result. I hope it is not broken. I hope it is not broken and it's just a software glitch somehow. I have taken a screenshot and emailed the um, seller on AliExpress already. I hope I get response very soon. And until then, guys, you have a wonderful good night. And we hopefully talk again tomorrow morning with better news. And we connect the J-Key BMS here to our battery and can see the two amp balancer in action, the BMS in action and the app in action as well. I don't know. At the moment, it is not looking good with everything I touch here. And it either breaks or it's not working. Maybe I should do a garden channel or something. Just completely different from this one here. Just something different. Get a different perspective, you know. Clear your mind. And then at some stage, come back and revisit. And just connect the app to the bloody BMS. Andy, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> you cannot even connect the BMS, right? Okay, so this is now two days later. We have already repaired the power supply. This will come in a different video though. Amazing story. Anyway, so two days ago, I tried to install and get this J, J, key, J key BMS here to work. Couldn't do it. So I've texted this shop again on AliExpress where I bought this BMS. And the problem with them is they only read the emails or messages once a day. So it takes always 24 hours until you get a response. And she texted me and said, well, you have connected the BMS in the wrong way. There's no way that this is true. I have checked multiple times. This is all being correctly connected to the battery. All the balance leads are fine. I found this BMS on different websites with instructions how to connect it. It is not connected the wrong way. Well, this took now two days until I got an answer from her. And she texted me this picture here with a battery connected between B- minus and P-. Minus. And I asked her, well, what is this 5 volt battery doing up there? No answer. 24 hours later. Thankfully, the same JKey BMS is now popping up on the Hangsaw store. And they have brilliant instructions on their website how to connect it and and how to start it. And this is exactly where this 5 volt battery comes into play. You can use a 5 volt battery apparently to start this BMS or you can just use a power supply to start it. So I had everything correctly connected the other day. I was very, very close. We had the app running on the mobile phone. We had the BMS connected. Everything was perfect. The BMS just needs a start trigger to turn on. And this is not what I did. I didn't know about it because the bloody instructions are all in Chinese. Let's connect this all back as it was. Got this one connected to the negative of the battery but it's not connecting. It is not turning on. There's no, there's no life in this BMS at the moment. So the trick is to apply a voltage over here. The Hangsaw store recommended on their website just to connect the charger for a moment to turn on the BMS. You will have the negative of your charger and connect this to your P minus of the BMS. There, P minus. And you've got the positive of your charger which will connect to the positive of your battery, right? And then apparently the voltage of your power supply or of your battery needs to be 4 volt higher than the battery voltage. Let's um, turn down the voltage here to say, well, 44. Battery is higher at 53 now. So 44 volts coming from the power supply. And we just connect this to the, to the positive here and there's nothing happening. Okay, let's go with 55. Yeah, so 55 volts. And so this would be enough to charge the battery. And I connect the positive again here to our main positive. 
I should actually connect it to the circuit breaker, right? Otherwise we've got no protection in between. Okay, just for the test. Nothing happens. BMS does not turn on. Okay, let's increase the voltage slowly and see when the BMS actually turns on. That should be at around uh, 57, 58. There we go. Look at this. It beeps and the light comes on at about 58 volts. So five volts more than the battery and the BMS turns on. Okay, and I think we now can disconnect the charger again and the BMS stays on. I'm not sure how to do this later on when this is all connected in the battery rack here if we decide to go with this BMS. So, um, well, we figure something out then. And I know some of you have this BMS already, so please leave your comments down below. How, how do you start this BMS up? And now we can see the J key BMS showing up. Well, yesterday, no, well, two days ago, there was only the GW24, and this is our smart active balancer in our big battery. So this pops up here as a connectable device as well, and that's why the app didn't want to connect. It wasn't the right device. The device was not turned on. So now we connect to the J key BMS. Oh, we get confirmation beep from the BMS. And, oh, look at this GUI. That looks nice. Cell count is not equal to settings. Okay. Okay, let's go into the settings then. That looks very flashy here. Cell count 24. No, that's not... Um, hello? How can I... I cannot, cannot... Uh, Ah, do I need to put in the password? One, two, three, four, verify. Verif uh, setting is failure. Oh God, what is the password here? Hang on, I read something about a password on the um, 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 Hangzhou website. Uh, let me just quickly. Okay, I'm back. So the password for changing the settings is not one, two, three, four, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, apparently. Let's see if this works. Oh, we are in. Okay, so now we can select lithium iron, lithium phosphate, and LTO. So we select these ones, and we go into the cell count. Ah, now it's working. 16. Okay, I like it. This one is 280. Okay. Balance trigger voltage. This is again not the start voltage. This is the deviation we can set. Okay, leave this, we leave this at 10 millivolt, that's fine. Okay, advanced settings. Cell over voltage protection, 3.6. Cell over voltage protection recovery, I think it is, 3.4. Cell under voltage protection recovery uh, at 3 volts. Cell under voltage protection 2.6, power off voltage 2.5. Okay, so what is the difference between cell under voltage protection and power off voltage? 2.5, 2.6 volts. This is the start balance voltage here at 3 volts. So we can set this one to uh, 3.4. For five, for example, maximum balance current, two amps. Look at this. Two amps active balancing included in the BMS. Max charging current, 25 amps. Wow, look at all these parameters in here. Maximum discharge current is 200 amps for this BMS. Over current protection delay. 300 seconds charge okay discharge under UTP what is UTP under temperature protection yes minus 20 degrees Celsius it says Celsius this is for the temperature sensor so it has over temperature protection and under temperature protection uh -huh. what is this wire resistance 
number 14 is this for all the balance leads or this is probably you can set a resistance of your balance wire here if you have very long cable runs okay we'll leave them all at zero okay i think i can figure out most of these settings here ocp means over current protection and ocpr means over current protection recovery 60 seconds okay so i'm back on the status page now and it looks like we're already balancing. Look at the top here, balance current, minus 2 amps. Number 9, number 2. Number 2 seems to be the low voltage cell here for some reason. I think there's something wrong with my crimping of the balance leads or something. I don't know. That looks very low. 3.3 volts. 2 amps. Ah, oh, yeah, we're here. We can see it. We can see it. 1.8 amps, 1.9 amps going into the battery. Cell number two, it balances number two without the charger being connected. And now it stops. Is it doing a similar thing as the active balancer we have now, huh? That it measures voltage in between and then... Okay, anyway, let this balance. Let's go back here in the uh, settings. Here, yeah, start balance voltage, three volts. Okay, if you set this one to... Uh, 3.4 volts and we go back to the status page it should actually not balance anymore and it doesn't look at this balance current zero it's not balancing anymore so it will not balance before we hit 3.4 volts that is so good and it works just out of the box here very intuitive to program max balance current to amps yeah why should you go lower I mean if you have smaller cells like the Palo, you don't probably don't want to balance with uh, two amps. Then let's turn this to a three point three. Okay, and go back. And it's balancing. It is amazing. Okay, but now we want to see some real action here. I want to reconnect the charger again. So we've got the charger negative here on the P minus, and we connect this one here. I should really connect this to the fuse, and not. I've, I've got I've got respect for this pack here 50 volt almost 15 kilowatt hours of energy and you don't want to make a short right Medi? you don't connect it over here and yeah we leave this one on uh, 58 volts that is all right turn on the and nothing happens Okay, what's wrong now? Um, is this maybe turned off here? Let's have a look in control. Ah, charge, discharge. Okay, let's turn on charge and see. And it turns on, turns it on. I turn it off again. Look at this, it stops charging. That is so cool, right? Okay, five amps. Here, full, full blast. Okay. I turn on the charger again. There it goes. Five amps, it charges. <laughs> I like it. That is so cool. And we can also turn off the balance here. Let's have a look. Um, it is balancing right now. Okay, we go back in control and say, stop balancing. And it stops. It just works. There it comes. Here it comes. Two amps into number two. Nice. And voltage is rising. Two extra amps from the balancer, from the BMS. Now it doesn't matter anymore what I'm saying. If I say balancer or BMS, it doesn't matter. Because this is all in one device now. That is very exciting. I knew these devices exist here and I heard about them before and everything, but Seeing it in action here is, wow, wow, that is pretty cool. Guys, this is so cool. This is really cool. I'll, I'll do some more testing in the next couple of days with this BMS here, um, with the battery here, because this will be our battery bank number two. And if this really works as it looks like it is working, insane. 
we don't need any other balancer then we don't need any other bms then we just need the j key bms and it just works it has rs485 it has can bus it has bluetooth what else do you want oh here temperature sensor see down here we've got the battery t1 temperature one and battery t2 temperature two so just warm this one up here a bit and see if it reacts there's this battery number two see how it goes up 70 degrees challenge accepted okay let's see 30 35 see if we can this one to 70 it's already at 50 almost at 50 degrees 60 65 69 70 71 that is alarm and charging turns off zero amps nice okay let it cool down i've set now the cell over voltage protection to 3.365 which we have here already in cell number 12. there might be a delay or something let's give it some more current here see if we can trigger the there it is protection cell over voltage bang zero amps turns it off nice that is nice and then it waits until the cells are back to 3.3 okay we won't reach that these are silly settings now i just wanted to trigger it and see if it works and it does the only thing i have not seen here is a pack over voltage protection you know like we can set like 57 volts or something and if the whole pack reaches that it disconnects but i honestly i never understood why this is in all the other bms's i've seen so far because it doesn't make sense before you hit the maximum voltage of your whole pack one of the cells will be higher in peak anyway so it will be enough as here in the j key bms settings to set only a cell over voltage protection if one of the cells hits this voltage you will terminate you will stop charging right you will just stop it doesn't matter what the overall voltage of your pack is then because one of the cells will trigger that anyway okay let's try the max charge current we set this one to four amps okay max charge current four amps There it is again, over charge protection. Nice. That works very well. Okay guys, so far this longish video again, sorry for these longer videos, but there's so much to discover with these new devices here. There's so much to explore and to test and to measure and I can only scratch the surface now. I really wanna make more testing with these BMSs before I make the final decision, but this one, looks the best of everything I had so far. It, it ticks all the boxes. It has MOSFETs in and out, charging, discharging. It has two temperature sensors, uh, RS4485 for our later connection to the uh, solar charge controllers and everything to throttle charge coming in once the battery is full. It has also CAN bus communication, 200 amps continuous current we can push through. Look, I've got only 100 amp circuit breakers here per battery bank. This is my maximum current I'm pulling from this battery. 100 amps max. If this BMS has 200 amps, this is a 100% over capacity in current. The app looks really, really good. It gives you all the information here. I can't see shit. I have seen it before anyway. It gives you all the information here in the status screen. The programming is super, super, super simple here to do. You can set all the parameters. You can even calibrate your balance leads and measure the resistance to be very precise. You've got the controls here. You can just hit the charge button and it turns off. Look at this. Charge button on, charger on, charge button off, charger off. How good is that? The balancing works perfectly. Wow. 
Okay guys, so far this video from tonight, from the last couple of days, I need to put this all together now. Wow, what a work. I've got all the shots in different cameras and the screen recording now. It will take me a while to put this all together, but it is worth it. I need to show you this BMS. It is really good. I have linked this on my website as always. Link is down below in the description box. The link goes to the Hangsaw store at AliExpress. The BMS is not the cheapest one. It is, I think, 260 Australian dollars or something. In the 200 amp version, there are smaller versions available as well, less current, but I think they all start at 14. Let me quickly confirm that. Yeah, guys, I just looked it up on the Hangsaw store now. I think these BMSs are only available from 12S onwards. So if you have a 24 volt battery pack or even a smaller 12 volt battery pack, these BMSs are not suitable for these sort of uh, battery configurations. It needs a higher voltage to work. It's the same with the active balancer. Obviously, they need a higher operation voltage. And I've got the 12 to 24S 2 amp, 200 amp Bluetooth. They all have Bluetooth anyway. So if I select this one here, yeah, this is $272. I think it's free shipping with uh, the Hangsaw store again, yeah. But for my application here, 48 volt battery, amazing. This is probably the BMS I will go with. I will order a second one then, and then we have these BMSs in the shelf here, and this is all we need. We just need one device for everything. How good is that? The check of all trades. I like it. Okay guys, let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do some more testing with this BMS. What do you want me to test? Nah, forget it. I will test everything anyway in the next couple of days. I am impressed. Guys, until the next video, stay charged and stay safe. And thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your donations again here. Well, I catch you in the next one. See you then. Bye bye.